Hi everyone, my name is Alex Aval. Hi, my name is Kimmy Mejia. Hi, my name is Devane Sole. Hi, I'm Yako. Hi, I'm Camilo Pareja. And we're Team 12. Welcome to Dive, the web app for connecting within and across cultures anytime, anywhere. Dive connects you with a diverse network of members via one-on-one -on -one conversations. From your mobile device, you'll be able to sign up for this new experience. Simply set your name, email address, and password to create your login account. Before going further, we want to make sure you agree with our guidelines. Dive is founded upon maintaining an open mind, taking accountability, being respectful, never engaging in hate speech, and overthrowing discrimination. If you agree, then you're ready to be a diver. You can add a profile picture and include any information about you that will help us connect you within and across your culture. All fields besides username and age are optional, so we can help you connect while still leaving you in control of what you share. If you're wondering what to include in your profile, you can refer to our FAQ page below. Now let's get started. Divi the Penguin will welcome every new diver and recommend you start connecting with others right away. But first, let's look at the profile tab. From here, you'll be able to remind yourself of what you shared. You can change or add information and save your edits. You can also access more app settings from the top left gear icon. Okay, let's listen to Divi and see what diving looks like. You'll have two main styles of diving, connecting with people of similar and different cultural backgrounds. Let's start with similar as an example. The algorithm will try to connect you with someone in 30 seconds or less. If you choose similar, the algorithm will match you according to phrases from your profile related to cultural background. The key phrases used will be listed here. To lessen unconscious bias, Dive uses randomly generated profile pictures and names when you connect with someone new. Once a connection is found, you'll be diving into a live chat right away. If a member violates the community agreement or otherwise makes you uncomfortable, you can report and block in the More Options menu. You can also minimize the chat to remind yourself why you were matched with this diver. Once you're done chatting live, you can click this top left button. At the end of the dive, you're given the opportunity to record notes about the specific dive. You'll also be able to add that person as a pen pal. We'll get to that in a second. You've completed your first dive. From here, you can start a new dive or look at your diving history and notes. Let's say we enjoyed our conversation with Rakuza. We can add them as a pen pal here. Once a diver adds you back as a pen pal, you'll be able to see their actual username and profile picture. In the Messages tab, you'll be able to continue the conversation with pen pals. From here, you can also search for specific usernames or messages. Finally, let's show you how to connect with people of a different cultural background. The diving process is the same. However, our behind-the-scenes algorithm will instead focus on matching you according to your other listed interests and experiences. Here, we've been connected with Azukar because they are also interested in sports, college, and computer science. And that's Dive. We hope you're as excited about it as we are. Hey everyone, my name is Alex. I grew up in America and my parents grew up in Cuba. Because of our different lifestyles growing up, there was a disconnect in understanding between my parents and I. Usually they told me to act one way at school while my teachers at school would tell me to act a different way. What made matters worse was I had a speech impediment so I couldn't learn Spanish to talk to my parents. This led to a language barrier between me and my parents. Family and friends seeing me as too Americanized. Sometimes they would say I wasn't Latino enough, which they meant as a joke, but the comments stuck with me. As a result, I felt alienated from my family and out of place in my cultural identity. I tried using apps like Instagram and Reddit, but it was hard to find people with the same cultural experience as me. I then found an app called Dive, which is focused on connecting people with their culture. I wasn't expecting much from the app, but I gave it a try. I put in my preferences looking for Latinos who didn't speak good Spanish, Instantly, I connected with another Latino, Camilo, who grew up in the United States, and his family grew up in Colombia. I talked to Camilo about my difficulties communicating with my parents, and how even my own friends will make me doubt my Cuban heritage. Camilo empathized with my struggles, even understand the pain I was going through. He even helped me out learn Spanish so I can talk to my parents better. It was comforting to meet Camilo because he's the first person I ever met that had the same situation as me. When Camilo said he had disconnect, I sent him a pen pal request and we've been chatting ever since. For weeks, we conversed back and forth talking about our experience growing up in a Latino household in the United States. During my time chatting with Camilo, I was attending Belen Jesuit Preparatory School. Private school with very little diversity. 90% of the people in attendance were Latino. I did appreciate being around people of the same culture, but I still felt alienated due to my ability not to speak proper Spanish. I told this to Camilo and he suggested I should use the Dive app to connect with people outside of my culture. I then added a couple details in my profile to connect with people on common interests, such as video games, computer science, and dogs. I connected with a girl under the anonymous name Rakuza. We both liked sports and video games. It was a bit weird talking to someone anonymously, but one 
once I mentioned basketball, the conversation wrote itself. We talked about how the Miami Heat is the best franchise of all time. After talking with each other for a bit, we decided to add each other's pen pals, and I saw a profile information revealed. Her name is Devani, and she was a rising freshman at Georgia Tech. I really love this feature since I was able to make a new friend, so I used it again, and I was able to make two new friends. Cammy, a girl from California, and Neil, a guy who loved to make music and beats. I really love this new group of friends I made, so I decided to make a group chat with all of them outside of the app since we were all computer science majors. We talked throughout the summer, and one day, Camilo sent a link to a chat which said apply to a new technologist program, and we all did. Luckily, we all got accepted and were able to meet up in person. A major takeaway from this program I came to realize was the importance of PM work and a people-first approach. From brainstorming to feature designing to user research, all of these were pivotal steps into assuring that we could release the best product possible for our audience. I now walk out of this pro program hoping to do more work in product management. For me, I've always been interested in UX design, and the new text program gave me the tools, guidance, and amazing teammates that I needed to, for the first time, create user flows, paper prototypes, and high-fidelity prototypes with Framer. All things that I was too afraid to try because I didn't know where to start. For me, I've never made a project in GitHub before. Through this experience, I realized the importance of GitHub in the tech industry because it is an efficient tool to merge code, resolve conflicts, and develop projects. Merging my code with my peers Help me see our project coming together and realize my dreams become a developer. It was my first time designing the project considering, considering the engineering side and the PM side of it. This program helped me understand the importance of the PM aspect to offer a product that is not just appealing to me, but as a purpose of product that solves a problem as something, I mean, adds something to people's life. And I really appreciated the challenge of working remotely because I became better, better acquainted with the possibilities of Microsoft Teams and new ways of engaging my group. Working remotely has highlighted the importance of communication when collaborating. These lessons will be extremely helpful in all of my future work, both remote and in person. A lot of work went to getting to the app to this point. As a group, we decided that the best way to address the problem of communicating culture with others was through a one-on-one -on -one scenario. We felt that we made deeper connections with people in this one-on-one -on -one situation rather than in a group setting. And as a result, we mimicked our live chat system as shown in the demo through this one-on-one -on -one situation. However, there are other details of our app that we were still kind of unsure about. So as a result, we created an eight question survey that was sent out to people and received 119 responses. One of the things demonstrated and asked about in the survey was how long a person should have to wait for a connection. We found that 43% of users said the max time they were willing to wait was a minute. When we were brainstorming ideas for solutions to our problem statement, we were very, very passionate about this two-pronged system, matching with people inside of your culture and connecting with people outside of your culture. However, we wanted to make sure that there was in fact a user base for this. So in our survey, we asked people's willingness to match with people inside and outside of their culture on a scale from one to 10. We found these results. The orange dots surrounding the blue dots signify that there were duplicate data points or that multiple people had the exact same ratings for each branch. As you can see, it clusters more towards the top right, which shows high interest in both similar culture and different culture. In the user survey, we also asked the open-ended questions of, if you would not use this app, why? As well as, do you have any other thoughts or concerns? A couple of people expressed concerns that the app was similar to Tinder and other dating platforms. Accordingly, we paid careful attention to the user experience and branding. Instead of using the word match when trying to connect with someone, we used the word dive and gave the entire app the theme of diving into the ocean, complete with our penguin mascot, Divi. Another concern expressed in the responses to the user survey was about how we would handle trolling and hate speech. To address this, Dive will include a community agreement page, report and block features, and an auto-moderation bot that will check text messages for offensive language and hate speech before they are sent. We also asked users, what are your main reasons for using the app? The results are shown here in this pie chart. These responses influence the order in which we prioritize coding parts of the app. As a result, we prioritize the experience of friending people in the app over users being able to use the app to talk about a specific issue or question they had. The pen pal feature is Dive's way of fostering friendships as seen in the demo. We also plan to have a page for optional preferences to connect users based on a specific topic they were interested in discussing, but this does not make it into the MVP. Some possible features that we thought for the future are the video chat, which should allow users to video call the person they are connected with in a new Dive. The users don't have to turn the camera on. This feature will be accessible after five minutes of live texting with a new dive connection. Some people may find speaking more comfortable than testing. Video calls may allow also individuals to experience deeper connection. 
We also thought about prompts, which allows users to send a discussion prompt about culture into a conversation. This feature will help move conversation forward and also ground conversation back to the theme of culture if desired. Algorithm to check questions. This algorithm will check questions and messages before they are sent. It will make recommendations to the user to better phrase the question if possible and or recommend some online resources for them to educate themselves. For example, questions such as what is black life matter? What is the point of the hijab? may trigger this moderator algorithm. This can help users ask more constructive, meaningful, and respectful questions. More importantly, it may ease the burden on individuals of feeling a requirement to be spoke people for the cultural background.